Well, medical collections. Today we're going to be talking about two significant changes that have occurred as of July 1st, 2022, and how they're impacting you as a borrower for your credit. All right, let's get started. So the first thing you should know is that a medical collection that has been paid to zero has always been reporting on the credit report for a continuation of seven years after date of last activity. Well, that is no longer the case, and that's probably the number one most significant change. If you pay a collection to zero, that, the following, that collection the following month will fall off. You will wanna get a zero balance letter. If by some chance they don't report to the repositories, which are TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, then you can take that letter and send it off to the repositories and get it removed yourself. The second option is that when you are in an urgent situation and you need to get an offer accepted um, and you're waiting on these to drop off, I can do what's called a rapid rescore process, which gives within seven days will give me a new credit score without those collections on the report, without those paid collections. That is huge because imagine there are collections Collections previously with medical versus non-medical have been treated the same. So you could have a client with a 30 to 50 point drop in their score due to these medical collections. And so that means when they're paid to zero and they completely fall off the next month, like they don't even exist on the report anymore. We don't see the history or anything. It's like they never existed. By having that happen, you can expect a lot of times to receive an increase of 30 to 50 points. And we can do an analyzer to see how the um, zero paid collections will impact the credit score, depending on what they have in other collections and what they have in other debt and late payments. But I can do a what if credit simulator, import their credit report in and see the results of that, those, those changes. So that's the number one, I think most significant change. The number two uh, change that has taken place within medical collections is this. If a collection has been um, if a collection is between zero and one year, it's no longer allowed to report on the credit report until it's greater than one year old. So if it goes to collections, <coughs> they have a waiting period of one year before they can report that collection, which is really, really a big deal. Previously, it was six months. So now it's being extended from six months to 12 months. And there are some changes that are coming in 2023, but that has not occurred yet where the smaller collections are not gonna be allowed to be reported. And there'll be some sort of aggregate or some sort of total, whether it's $100 or less. Uh, you know those little $15, $30 collections from an unpaid copay that you don't realize that you have. Next thing you know, you have a collection for 30 bucks and it's dropped your score 40 points. Insane, right? That is coming in 2023. But for now, if you pay your collection to zero, it will come off your credit report immediately within the preceding within the post 30 days or you can get it we can help you get that removed and then number two is that a collection cannot become a collection medically until it's greater than one year old all right this is don connors at mortgage one providing you fantastic mortgage solutions so i see i see it as if you if you are a client who's had medical collections in the past and that's been pulling down your score or you believe that it has been pulling down your score talk to someone like myself so that we can really see we can pull your credit report and see what the real story is and see how your credit score is being impacted by those collections and what paying them would do for you thanks for watching